Well, uh, uh, hello there, young whipper snapper. It's it's me, Dennis again. And uh, uh, your what was your name, R- Robert? Rob. Rob. Um, young whipper snapper, I'd like to sit you down because you last week we had an encounter, and uh, well, you you said some things to me that really opened my eyes. Um, I've come to the realization that. Uh, you know, I, I was a really self-hating uh, rap enthusiast, and and gosh, damn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace my true self. I am 58 years old, believe it or not. That is and surprising I know, for the wrong reason. And I know how to kick some ass. And I just want you to say that, or I want to say to you, thank you. You're doing this wrong, Dennis. For breaking my. Uh, breaking the mold of the tough exterior that I presented as rap hatred, Dennis. All right, so I'm going to get you started. Okay. Your name is Dennis, and you're here to say... Uh, I like to go to the playground and play. That'll work. Oh, great. And, uh, well, one more thing before I go. Uh... If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't meet this, this this lovely lady I met on the internet on a rap forum. Her name is Yolanda. And gosh damn it. Oh, she gets me tingly. And uh, so I, I just want to... Uh, she's really impressed by freestylers. And I wanted to spit some beats. Oh, I'm so glad. That's what I was trying to get you to do. I, I, I see what you're doing, you young whippersnapper, but just just stop, okay? And let me let my lyrical genius flow. Here it is. I'm ready. My name is Dennis. I ain't no menace. I go to the store to play some tennis. Why does that make sense? It doesn't. It's rap, bitch. Oh, I said the B word. Drop the mic. Oh. That's a mic drop. it. You're about to hear the greatest show of your life. Dude. Dudes with brews on a porch with rock. Dennis, get, get out of my house. You're always here. Get out. Nobody invited you in. It's 7 a.m. You freak. Why does he do this? How is Dennis only 58? He's 58. And he sounds like he's 80. <laughs> he's, had a, he's had a rough life, I guess. Uh, is he a smoker? Is that what I have to worry about? <laughs> no. I heard smoking ages you quite a bit, though. That's why I do it. <laughs> that's why you do it yeah you want to uh um i thought it would make me an adult better. yeah it just uh made me more insecure about the way i smell yeah yeah and that's a valid uh insecurity because you smell horrible i know um rob today it's seven twenty-seven a.m on a thursday we can't drink beer because i have to Go to work, and I feel like it'd be irresponsible of me to do that. I don't have to go to work now for for several hours, actually. But uh, anyways, so I, uh, I I went down into the the coffee chamber in my house, and I was able to round out some delicious, great value classic roast. And what more delicious of a description sun. does that need? <laughs> yeah. It's great value, and it's classic roast. Yeah, basically what it's saying is you're going to get the most for your buck. We're not uh, you know, we're we're we're, we're past the bougie coffee bullshit in the in the household here and uh we just go for the big old tins, already ground up beans and we just get the most generic uh, mud water we can possibly find. And that is what we're looking at. And that is what we're drinking today. 
but it's accompanied. You have a a New York, the Big Apple mug. Yes. Have you ever been to New York? No, I have not. Neither have I. And this I have, mug is as close as I've come. <laughs> <laughs> I have one with a fox, and it says, "Hey there, hot stuff." Have you ever met a fox that called you hot stuff? I've met a fox, but never been uh, declared as hot stuff. But you get it because, like, you put coffee in it, which is hot. Yeah. And, like, it, it could be saying hi to the liquid. Well, yeah, I was going to say, so it's not even talking to you. Yeah, yeah, right. See, that mug would just depress me every day. <laughs> <laughs> but the fox is, like, made to look like look at you. Yeah, exa- that mug is a, is a fake out. It's like when somebody waves in your direction and you go, oh, do I know that person? And then you wave at them and then you look behind you and all their friends are back there and they're waving. <laughs> That's what that mug is doing. Yeah. Hey there, hot stuff. Oh, I was talking to the coffee. <laughs> that, that could be hey that could be a good pickup line for for you at a coffee shop with a <laughs> you see you see a nice lady you you have you have to make sure coffee's in hand and you just take a sip and you go hey they're hot stuff and depending on the reaction oh talking to the coffee it's a good point i think i th- i think we should put that into uh it's not better than my star trek thing but that's it's cool <laughs> 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 Which wasn't meant to be a pickup line. It was meant to be an icebreaker. There's a difference. Yeah. Yes. Why don't you just go the, the classic? How much does a, pol- a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. Hi, I'm Rod. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of going up and going. Hi, I'm Rod. I mean Rob. What's up? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been up for approximately thirty minutes. So let's uh been up since five thirty. Let me try this coffee. Well, I didn't go to bed till one o'clock. I didn't either. Really? Mom yeah, Peter. watched the Bucks game last oh. night. They won. They won. They they beat the, 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 Lakers. the Lakers without their three star players. Yeah, I was gonna say because <laughs> LeBron James isn't playing. And it, was, and it and it looked difficult. Yeah. Was is Yanni back? Yanni's back. We had our whole starting lineup. Uh we lost three in a row, four in a row. Yeah, but we didn't play yeah, I don't know. But I, I, Thanius is looking good. Thanasis? Thanasis. I call yeah. him Thanius. Thanius, <laughs> apparently. All the. The nasty. The nasty. The nasty. The nasty. The nasty. Yeah, they could be his. That's what they call him. The nasty Greek freak. That's not very nice. <laughs> Don't urban dictionary that. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just try this coffee real quick. He has his per uh, format. It's got a little French vanilla hint. Oh, wait, that's the creamer I put into it. You know what kind of nodes I get? Or notes, whatever the fuck they're called? Classic. Um, Loads of classic nodes. <laughs> Lots of roast going on. Yeah, I feel like this was roasted. <laughs> um, um, I feel it's like... It's got a real upfront coffee flavor. And not like the roast you think of. It's actually like a, a beef roast. You know, like a, that, that's the roast. That I is it. Yeah, there's a brothiness to it. Mm-hmm. What a great way to kickstart the day, uh, Rob. I've been working second shift lately, as stated before. Um, because the individual who works second shift, uh, unreliable. At, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love how quickly you came to his aid. He, uh, um, uh, medical emergency. Oh, wow. So I was way off. On that. He's okay, though. Good. He'll, he'll, he'll be back. Um, Wiping the sweat from my brow after, uh, <laughs> unreliable. HIPAA makes, I can't, I can't do that. I can't disclose what happened. Oh, absolutely not. It's a HIPAA violation. Um, but, uh. What if you don't say his name? You know, I don't, I don't even want to <laughs> tread those waters. I need an income, and uh, uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not going back to dancing. I I swore that life yeah, away. I'm gonna get you back on dancing. But uh, um, so last night I was driving home, you know, twelve thirty in the morning or whatever, and I I was I'm driving down the main street, of Fond du Lac, main drag, not main street. Ironically, it's not main street. It's Johnson. Um, oh, see, yeah, the main drag. Yeah, but uh, I was, I was, I was, I, I developed a game, and I want to see how it works. 
I, I drove by houses because it's late. It's late on a Wednesday evening, right? Or yep. or Thursday morning, whatever your perspective is. And uh, so I was like looking at houses and seeing which lights in their house were on. And I was trying to determine, based on the location of the house, what was in that room, and what they and what people were doing in those rooms with the lights on. So I drove by one. And the game is you have to think what I thought was going on. All right. So I drove by one old classic square, you know, one of the, one of the Fond du Lac squares, where the fuck they are. Uh, light on in the basement and light on the very top left of the house. What do you think I thought those people were doing at 1237 a.m.? I don't know what it's, you think uh, about people. I don't know what you. What, what am I supposed to laundry? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's their that's their answer. They were doing. They were creating a, a very long, uh, uh, just a uh, uh, supply chain of laundry. Only they were rever- reverse shooting it. Okay. Instead of the laundry going down, it was going up. Okay, so I, but I'm supposed to guess they were shooting clean laundry up their laundry chute, right? Another house, it was like in the middle. It was like a second level window. But instead of like your regular light, it was a string light that was blue and purple. What is this? Oh, like uh, like those like uh, Christmas lights, but they're strings? Uh, kind of like the ones I have in the gazebo. Okay. All right. Yeah, so. That was the light that was on inside? It was on, yeah, in the room, on the wall. I could see it was over. Was there a TV on? You know, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I mean, man, I know it's what I would think. It's 12.30 in the morning. What would you think? Goldfish. Fish tank. I, I saw the lights on. Like, I saw what they were. I saw into the window. I know. And saw the string lights. I'm not saying they were on a tank. I'm just saying maybe they were there for the fish. You don't know people... They're afraid of the dark, the fish? You don't know people that leave lights on for their fish? I mean, what's the point of that? What's the point of leaving the radio on for your dog? I don't do that either. Well, I know, but some people do. You must. I, I'm not. I'm speaking in generalities here. Well, I'm part of the general. Just because you don't do something doesn't mean you don't know <laughs> that people do it. But why would you leave lights on for a fish? What are they going to do? Like what? Because what? people have un, like people want to put human emotion into animals, and they go, a "Fish might not like the dark." But the it gets dark where they're in the wild. I agree. The pet stores. I would. Imagine. I don't even own fish. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not defending these people. It's just what I would have thought. Either that, or there's uh, maybe a kid that's afraid of the dark, or somebody's afraid. Maybe it's the human being that's afraid of the dark. Mm-hmm. Maybe they just watch lights mm-hmm. out four times in a row. And they're in their head. Is that a movie? And, yeah, it's a it's a scary movie. Okay, and then it's actually scary. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought that person was the uh, was uh, building a device to. Uh, Start time travel based on those lights, blue and purple. If only it were that simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've got some. I've got some. Uh, some clear ones. Clear lights. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like the rope lights. Yeah, but the clear ones. Right. Yeah. What do you use those for? Your fish. I gave them to my parents. For their fish? For their deck, I guess. For their deck is afraid of the dark? I, I don't know, man. I just gave them away because I didn't... I wanted, I thought they looked cool. Yeah. And then I realized no one comes to my house. Why do I need to try and look cool at my house? I'm going to sit there and I'm going to look at those lights and I'm going to go, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you're not... What are you doing? Do you want people at your house? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's because I because I've completely stopped caring about everything there. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, it's horrible. Mm-hmm. It's horrible. Uh, yeah, I used to keep the the fridge stocked. See, I used to clean so much that when I was with Jenny, she used to yell at me about cleaning. Uh, uh, I because you clean too much. Yeah, yeah. She, oh, she hated. Oh, that's it. a good problem to have, though. Yeah, it, well, I would love it personally. Comparatively to where I'm at now, which is like, yeah, what's the point? Yeah, it's a good yeah, shift. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, yeah. I, 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 but I, recently, I've I've given up on that. Where it's like I've started to, uh, 
I, I dusted. I moved my TV. You giving up on oh, giving up? I'm, I'm giving up on giving up. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a quitter, man. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm a quitter. I lay down easy, as they say. Hmm. That should also be one of your pickup lines. <laughs> Yeah. I lay down easy. I lay down easy, as they say. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> okay. Well, one more house, all right? And let's see. Let's see if you can really get the trifecta. So Wait, far, you're so this, this, this last one was, was time travel. Yeah. Okay. All the right. one before that was uh, reverse laundry shooting. Reverse laundry shooting. All right. You know, I think that could be a thing. We put a device in the laundry chute. We build like a mini elevator. It's called a dumb waiter, and it exists. That's specifically for laundry. No, but that's the same concept. Who who's got one of those? They stopped doing them because they just they're not as they they, they, they don't make things as much as as easy as uh, as you want them. Too to. many kid. Too many kids uh, got transported in those things. Probably the dumb waiters. You know, like a. Uh, because uh, they were dumb. That's why I they got rid of, of them. I think of that that uh, not so great movie, Halloween H two O. Never saw in it. Which uh, a person is discovered dead in one of those. They just open it, and there she is, dead, killed by Michael Myers, one of the great serial killers in horror cinema. And they ruined him by showing him having to crank the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll show you. Yeah. To hide the body, <laughs> you know you, they don't they don't really do that part in the horror movies. Like show show yeah. the the transport process or the cleanup process. You know that they, that they may yeah. perform the idea of him pulling pulling it up, like pulling on the string to make the dumb water go half, halfway up to conceal the body. He takes a break because he's winded. <laughs> and then, that's why he walks all the time. Yeah. He he just you know. Out of shape, Michael well, Myers. That mask is hard to breathe in. Yeah, it would be. You know, and he has it on all the time. I think in this day and age, we can really start to feel for his perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Only instead of uh, we just have to replace our our cloth or whatever mask with uh, thick rubber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah. a small hole in it. Yeah, I think yeah, we're we're almost there. Um, all right. <clears throat> so we drove by a house, right? All right, I'm really going to try and get this one. And this I'm one... off on the last two. It, it appeared to have sheets over the windows with, like, flowers and stuff on it, but the light was on, and it was the living room. And it's 12.30 in the morning. What was, are there those? A t- was there a TV on? Yeah, I don't know that, because the sheet was in the window. Yeah, but you can see the flashes of the blue light of the TV. I didn't. I didn't see any of that. All right. I only think there's like one way you can think about this. Yeah. And that's uh, uh, somebody smoking something or doing some, something they shouldn't be doing that they don't want people to see. Mm. Probably playing video games all night. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but you've been going way off the off the reservation with some of this stuff. Off the reservation? Mm. Yeah, with, with, with anti-gravity clothes shoots and... Time travel. I think that's a good way to put it. The anti-gravity clothes shoot. So, I don't know. What did you What did you say? What do you say? Reading. Reading. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not guess that? <laughs> All right. Well, because I'm a 12:30 a.m. reader. Yeah, yeah. I think, and I definitely don't want people to see me reading, so I got to put that sheet up. I think this person is like, you know what? I don't have a lot of time in my life, so I'm gonna make time. And I've I've been looking at this book on the bookshelf for years, and God dung it, I'm gonna read it. And so they uh, started reading it, and really yeah. enjoyed themselves. What are you drooling on? Hey! They got a plastic cup. Of course they do. Um. So, sorry about that, everyone. My my young dog Barry decided to pull something out of the garbage and chew on it. As dogs do. And pretty soon, they're not going to be my problem for a week. Go. They're going to be Rob's problem for a week. Yep. That brings me joy. Me too. Because you put my dogs on a pedestal. You see how great they are. 
I put Phil on a pedestal, but he deserves it. No, no. Phil barks at everything. That's what dogs do. I talk at everything. It's annoying. He barks at strawberries on the TV. Strawberries. You know what's funny? Shampoo is- bottles. You bark at strawberries too? I talk to ads on the TV all the time. Yeah, do they respond? No, I don't doubt they do to the dogs either. Do you think do you think uh one day when you when you say something to Stop an ad, it. it's just gonna here. be like What'd you just say to me? It'll be one of those like uh um interactive like a yo play thing with Jamie Lee Curtis. But you don't know it's interactive. And then you just go Oh man, the yogurt that makes you poop? Great. That's really what I want. And Jimmy Lee Curtis goes, It's all about the health and the poop, Roberts. See, I feel like she would say, It is, bitch. Yeah, you think she'd say that? I, I think ads would get that personal. <laughs> all right. If you started talking to them and they started talking back. Yeah. Because that's what ads are becoming. That's what I talk to ads on the TV about. Did I tell you about this insurance ad I saw the other day? <laughs> Briefly. The, but yeah. Let's with, go with, John, with John Cena? Yeah, he told me about it. Yeah. What happened? It, d- 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 <laughs> the setup to this commercial is people is, is normal people commercial. like you and me, mm-hmm. Drew, tied to a chair. Tied to a, a chair? Okay. Tied, tied down in a chair with, with, a, with a phone app in front of them. Are there lights on at 12.30 in the morning? I'm assuming it was 12.30 in the morning. Okay. And uh, and, the, and the phone is saying insurance whatever. Low, low. Insurance low, whatever. It's something about cheap, good insurance. I'd go to that insurance company. Insurance whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too, actually. <laughs> I like my insurance company not to care so much. Can I have proof of insurance? Whatever. <laughs> yeah. What kind of insurance you got? Whatever. What, yeah. Uh, but uh, so and the, and the people are going. Uh, this insurance is good, or so, so I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm contextualizing. This is some real yeah, good yeah. insurance. Insurance good. I'm insurance tied to a chair. Good. Yeah. So they're being brainwashed by the phone that the insurance is good. Then John Cena. Bust through a TV screen or, or a wall or something. I know he breaks something down. Crosses the threshold to get into this commercial, and he and he and he punches a dude in the face, and then he he frees the human beings from the evil mind controlling app that is telling them that bad insurance is good. Then he looks directly at the TV at the camera. Or at bad us. insurance is bad. Yeah, yeah. He, he looks right at us. Mm-hmm. Through the TV, and he goes, "Don't, don't be fooled by those apps. This insurance is the best." <laughs> and I was like, "You motherfucker! You just put us in the chair in that commercial. Now we're being brainwashed by the TV, telling us that we shouldn't be brainwashed by the app." And I got very upset, <laughs> and I yelled at the TV for a little bit. My parents laughed at me. As many people do. <laughs> These ads, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> Crazy how, how technology is uh, advanced. You don't have to say the ones or twos anymore with the eyes. I'm just saying, I'm seeing more and more. Com- there was a commercial. Are you seeing better because you went to the optometrist? <laughs> I am, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I'm seeing these commercials now where it's like, they show some food and they go, we're not going to get some famous person to tell you this food is good. This food is good. Buy this food. And it's like... It's the point of an ad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just... Brand I'm just, awareness. This is good food. I don't know what the brand is. I was so shocked food. by the commercial. <laughs> yeah, okay, food. Yes, I know food is Our good. Or insurance. Yeah, well, I don't get it. I just don't... The ads make me not buy products. Yeah. Well, that's that's uh because when I see an ad that is so focused or so what like so just focused. You'd rather have the the random ads where it's like the ballerina and the big old story and then Amazon. No. Those ads piss me off too. Is there no pleasing you? <laughs> Probably not. What what's the, what's a good okay. what's a good ad for I you? Saw, I saw an ad once where this was the the tagline. This is a real product. Yeah. 
what? That man, then I'm never going to, like, that's not a real product. That's a scam. That's spam. That's a, that's, spam that's. Spam is a real product. That's what I'm talking. It's molded into a teddy bear. That's what they're going to sell me. And, and if your if your your ad has to come out and say, "This is a real product," mm-hmm. how is it not at your first like in- instinct to go, "That's a fake product"? What was it? I don't know. I only remember the shit that bothers me, <laughs> and that's why it's like, just show me a picture of what you want me to buy. Maybe flash good in there at the beginning and the end, and then that's be what done the with insurance it. company did. It flashed good, and you were upset. No, about they that. had John Cena punch a guy in the face and That's tell what me John it was Cena good. would do in that situation. A person in distress, tied to a chair, being tortured. I don't know. I John like, Cena saves the day. I'm just saying. And you get be, his insurance. I don't like it if they're too upfront. I don't like it if they're if they're too subtle. I'm just saying. Uh, then what do you like? I think I, I like the idea of smashing my TV. I don't know. What do you want me to you say? You want to smash your TV? Yeah. Don't don't pursue that next week with my TV, please. Because I don't want that smashed. I got you a bunch of food. We got you a bunch of food. The old battle axe chimed in here. Um, you guys. Unprompted. <laughs> Wouldn't even. Like, it was, it's, <sighs> That's what marriage is, Rob. You try to have a conversation with your friend and oh, your spouse is just around the corner waiting for, for the opportunity to chime in. We got you some food, Rob. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> What's the last commercial that you watched that you thought was effective and then you went and bought the product? How do you know when the McRib is back? I hate the McRib. Oh, my God. The you McRib- know, they, they, you, you all say I'm the one with problems. The McRib <laughs> is literally just the only reason people like it is because they, they, Cause have, back. Com- cause they have commercials that's, that explode and say, everybody loves the McRib, so you should love the McRib, it's too. Never, the McRib is never gone, but it always comes back. You know what I mean? I ate they one this year. They only announced the back, never the gone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they don't make ads saying "Sorry, you missed it." That would be effective. You missed the opportunity to sink those teeth in a delicious McRib. We have a mini rack of ribs smothered in delicious McDonald's barbecue sauce on a brioche bun. I don't know if that's the kind of bun it is, but it sounds good. Why the pickles? Yeah, that's standard. Why? You don't like pickles? Definitely not on a rib sandwich. Why? Or a chicken sandwich. Why? I don't like pickles on anything, actually. <laughs> so I'm the wrong guy to be talking about this. But it seems ridiculous to me to put pickles on a rib sandwich. Does it seem ridiculous to put you know, mayonnaise on bologna? It seems ridiculous to eat bologna at this point in my life. You know, I couldn't tell you the last time I had bologna. It's been a long time. It's been a really long time. Yep. Carissa asked me, and so, you know, based off the commercials that you do react to appropriately <laughs> and uh, um, everything, Carissa texted me yesterday and goes, what should I get Rob for when he's watching our dogs while we're gone? And I said, pizza and some frozen shit. <laughs> <laughs> was that, a, was that a, a correct assessment of your diet? That's a, that's a correct assessment of my cooking skills. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Do you want me to walk you through how to use the oven? I can use the oven. Are you sure? Is it gas or electric? Electric. Yeah, you might want to walk me through that. Really? No, I'm just oh. trying, I've got an electric oven. Okay. Uh, and I, I grew up with gas. It was very difficult in school. What? Oh, come on. Don't let that go over your head. I grew up with gas. Oh, Okay, like it was a fart joke. It was a fart joke. <laughs> oh, yes. all right. That spanned decades of my life. Can I tell you a quick story that happened to me? Um, and now I'm worried about going into work tonight because of it. So last night, we have where I work, we have kind of our own side bathroom that not a lot of people utilize, all right? So I. This is I, a big issue. I had to go to the Chris, bathroom. So don't walk away like that. I had that. to go to the bathroom last night. And this is this is a gross story. So I I never lift up public toilet seats with my hand. Can we do spoilers I, first? Well, yeah. And then and then tell the story? What do you mean? I don't know. Tell the end for Oh no no. <laughs> I, I never pick up public toilet seats with my hand. Always Kay. with my shoe. Okay. And you know, I have work shoes, so I just Not your Nikes. No, no. Oh no. <laughs> never oh, your no. Nikes. 
I will pee. I'll pee on a toilet seat before <laughs> I my Nikes touch a toilet seat. Um, so that's what's going on. But uh, so I, I kick it up, and underneath the toilet seat, like on the bottom of the toilet seat, just poo, splatter everywhere. Disgusting. Now I, I didn't clean it because first of all, I don't get paid to clean it. And it's gross. It's not mine. I don't know who it came from. I have an assumption, but I can't really point fingers. And uh, because people use it, and it's gross. It's disgusting. And I and then I'm just not gonna do it. But now, and you, it did get clean. The the sanitation guys didn't clean that part because they you don't see it unless it's up. And yeah. I didn't leave it up. I put it back down with my shoe. And um, now I'm gonna go to work today, and the people uh, uh, the other people are gonna think it was me. Why are they going to think it was you? Because I was the last one just by association. I was the last one in there. Not okay. not the last one in the bathroom, but last one in that department last night. They're going to assume I ran into their projectile uh, uh, pood <laughs> and and got uh, somehow managed to get backsplash on the part that you're sitting on underneath. I'm going to say. And first of all, that takes talent <laughs> and you should see a nutritionist <laughs> because something is Dude, wrong. Well, that's like... Uh, I mean, you're a. Like, <laughs> Do I go to work today and just acknowledge that wasn't me? Hey, I saw the doo doo underneath the toilet seat last night. I didn't do it, but I don't have it in me to clean to clean it. Likely story, right? So what do I do? I'm just saying. Or I just like, say I didn't, they, I didn't they, go to the they, bathroom. But they night. might have the same anxiety. The person who saw it after you had the same anxiety. Like, I hope there's not a line forming outside <laughs> because I'm not cleaning that. And they're going to come in here and think it was me. There's never a line to the door. I'm just I'm just saying if I, if I like that somebody did that before you walked in there. Somebody did that before they walked in there until you get to the culprit who actually sprayed like a cat <laughs> into the fucking toilet. Like, and they know what they did. They may, they might not though. No, they do. It's underneath because uh, I live. My roommate somehow gets splatter not only on the underside of the seat. How's that happen? <laughs> I've asked myself this for two years, <laughs> but on the underside of the lid. <laughs> How? So on the top of the lid was yeah, down. What's supposed to be behind your back? Yeah. I don't understand it, and it's a conundrum for me. Every... But not on the part where your back is not, where your back would be. I'm talking about the underside of the lid, where it's behind your back when you are. Oh sure, sure. Like, are you covering? I don't. Wow. It makes it. it, it, it he defies physics. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be a bigger mystery if he just got it on top of the lid, <laughs> right. and not on the underside. It's. Uh... But I'm, I'm I'm worried. You know, I have to go to work later this afternoon, and. What if, like, one of the first things they go, you feeling all right? And I'd be like, why? And then I can't, like, do I just play dumb and be like, no, I feel good. Why? And if they go, oh, somebody did this, I'd be like, oh, yeah, wasn't me. I mean, yeah. that, that's a likely, you know, take the shaggy route. It wasn't me. And wait till somebody brings it up to you and then go, I don't poo at work. Which is true. Unless it's an absolute emergency. In which case, that an emergency like that, <laughs> that would make cause sense. back. It would make sense, yeah. I don't know. I'm you're a real a, pickle. I would just say uh, it was me, and I don't, you don't care. Like pickles. But you know, just take credit for it. I don't want. I don't like to take credit for shit I don't do. Well, no, fair. Psst. Yeah, fair. Get it? I I got that. It's a pun. It's very nice. Thank you. So, that's my life. <laughs> that's everybody's life. Yeah, you know. Why can't we break the stigma of poops and farts? I I don't know. I've been saying this for a while. Everyone enjoys a good poop story every once in a while, right? Me and me and Noah just uh, d- d- uh, exchanged some poop stories the other day. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Did you record it and put it on the internet? We did. We did not. Oh. Well, then it didn't really happen. That's good because I would rather those stories not get out. Why? You'd rather they remain constipated? Yes. All right. Bottled up deep inside. Uh, yeah. So you ready to... Uh, Dog sit? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm hoping it like uh, I'm, uh, it stays warm through the next week, so when I take it's them out... It's not even warm. warm right now. It's cold. I know. I know. 
Mother is stupid. Yeah. I went to the dump the other day. What? I had to go to the dump. For what? To throw out a couch that a dog had pooped all over. You don't have a dog. Yeah, Noah does, though. Does he really? Yeah. I know that. A little tiny dog. Very yeah? cute. Yep. Molly. Better than my dogs? Different. Different? Different. Yell Little? Yellow? Little. little doesn't, different. Doesn't bark. Oh, that'd be great. Um, just comes and lays like... It's like the size of my shoe. Really? Lays there. Wants her belly rubbed. And it pooped so much that you had to throw away a couch? It just happened a, a more times than he was comfortable with. There was, it, it was beyond flipping the cushion. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And he, he had shampooed and everything all, every time, but... You know, uh, she got in the habit of of uh, of doing it, I guess. And and so. I'm lucky that you know neither one of my dogs is really that hard to potty train. Barry got it pretty quick. Phil, on the other hand, it took him some time, but then once we implemented the doorknob bell thing, it worked. Yep. He got it on the first try. Phil, we just hung the things and we said, "Hey," we rang it and then we take him out, and then the next time we had to go, he rang the doorbell. And then Barry chewed it all chewed it all up, so now he just pokes the doorknob with his nose. That's because he's a great dog. Yeah, Phil. Okay, mediocre and great are very different stages, but sure, it's all perspective. No, compared to no dog, he's great. I would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were just saying that, weren't you? I uh um you know I don't mind my dogs. I I know I, I give them a lot of shit, but uh, but. Uh, I I when they're when they're gone when they're when their time comes, uh, which is another thing. Uh, put a put a clip note on that, okay? And we'll come back to dogs dying. Um, but uh, these are the only dogs I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. Yeah, but uh, you also said you were never gonna get two dogs. I'm not gonna have any more dogs ever again. No, uh, I doubt it. I, I'm not. Well, in 15 years, when we're still doing this podcast. Wouldn't that be crazy? Still for 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 whatever our audience is right now. Mm-hmm. Um, Six of them. <laughs> then then we'll. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's more than six. Um, I was I was thinking about this the other day, Rob. So dog dog things, okay. You as a pet owner, you like enter in that relationship knowing, or at least hoping, that that thing. You're going to have that thing until it dies. You're buying a borderline tragic event and you're going into it knowing that I'm going to buy you or adopt you. I shouldn't say bye. Um, and one day and you're, you're going to be dead and then I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to go through the grieving process of losing a family furry friend. And that saddens you. What is Why that? would you want to do that? Why would you want to put yourself through that? I don't know, because it's a mini, mini, mini version of life. Except for you have a choice to buy it or not. Yeah, I mean, we're born into a situation where we're going to have a right. tragic event uh, uh, when our, uh, with, with parents that we have to take care of it. Uh, also, I guess, but, but it's we like, don't have the choice. At least with, with with an animal, you get the choice. It's control. It's all about control, Drew. It's like I can't wait, and you know, I, our, I don't know. You can't wait. You're gonna no, <laughs> no. That's not. <laughs> no, it's just like you're just you're going to the the pet store and you're gonna be like, oh, here is my few. I'm I'm gonna have to bury you one day. So would you feel the same? likely when you're dead? Do you, likely, <laughs> yeah, likely. Uh, do you feel the same way about a goldfish? Goldfish? Well, I expect it to be dead the next day <laughs> after I get so one. So it's like okay if it's a, if it's a goldfish, right? It's more like do you mourn a goldfish? No, I don't. But that's more like of an experiment of, you know, that's that's a good test. Can I keep this goldfish this alive? This guy over here can't wait for his dogs to die. I didn't say that. Experiments with goldfish. I didn't say, I don't want to experiment with goldfish. I haven't had fish for a long time. I lost those in the, the divorce. Yeah. The fish. Took the fish. The one thing I wanted the most. Uh, got stripped away. Did you get me. into the pH and all that? The pH balance and no, oxygen I, levels no. and, and, uh, and uh, nitrates? Nitrogen. 
I did add like stuff to it though to balance that pH, and uh, I took good care of those fish. I cleaned their tank all consistently, like once a month, which sucked. That, that's a that's a process in itself. Dude, I would never want fish. It's too much work. Okay. Too much work, you know. And uh, but not as much work as dogs. You don't have to clean up fish poop from the yard. No, no, you don't. <laughs> you had to think about that for a second. <laughs> My brain's not fully turned on yet. I had I one time had a fish that uh, you know, rest in peace, kill himself. Found him on the floor in the <laughs> living room. Well, and when I went to bed, he was in the tank. What scares a fish out of his tank, dude? How do you get it out? Was there a top on it? Yeah, it had to go through the filter. So it and ne- how do you? It but ne- how do you so like? How do you get ne- out? How, yeah. do, how does that happen? I don't know. Watch Little Nemo, man, or Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. <laughs> Little Nemo. I'm old, man. Little Nemo <laughs> is from my childhood. It's a great movie. Is that a real movie? Yeah, it's where he flies around on his bed. What? Yeah, dude, you never seen Little, Little Nemo, Nemo flying yeah. on his bed. Yeah, it might have been what the movie was about in <laughs> subtext. I don't, I don't know. I watched it as a child, but uh, it had di- 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 dirigi- di- dirigibles. Huh? Do you know what it di- is? That what it's called? A dirigible? I don't even know what that is. It's like a ship on a. Sounds like a, a little Debbie treat. <laughs> it's like a ship on a balloon or something with a with a with a with a with a, <laughs> with a propeller. What? It's a dirigible. I, I'm just. Uh, it was a good movie. It's good. Clearly. Yeah. But yeah, fish fish killed itself. And I was like, did you feel bad? I was just wondering how he did it. <laughs> Why he did it. What I could have done differently. Bigger tank. Maybe I could have sat there. More that. friends. It was a tiny fish. It wasn't even like, it was like an inch long. And it had a good tank. It was like 30 gallons. Come on. What more do you need, fish? A mother. You know, you probably took it too young. Afterwards, I put one of those uh, fish tank couches, decorative couches, just in case yeah. like, I needed, you know. Maybe that's what was the problem. Didn't have a real home. Couldn't lay down on the couch and say, Doc, I just swim and swim and swim. I meet a friend, but he's always doing the same thing I'm doing. Get out there. Hey. Could have just put a gallows and then saved yourself the water on the floor. <laughs> A gallows? You mean like a guillotine? No, a gallows. And what's a gallows? Where they hang people? Oh, that's morbid. Did you use to put a guillotine would have been better? <laughs> yeah, it's a little quicker. True. I feel like there's... I, I feel like a fish wouldn't get much use out of a gallows. It would just be a hoop to swim through. It's tail. It would just be... Because I don't uh, think it's po- there's no gravity in, in in the water. Not well, there is, but there uh, it's not quite as. Is there gravity in the water? You would know, I mean, science guy. I think there has to be, <laughs> right? It's yeah, all about, it once, the you get, once you get into water, it's all about buoyancy and and density, right? Yeah, it sounds right, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, that's all I care about. Okay, as long as I sound smart to somebody who doesn't know more than me. Well, it's a lot of people. Not true. How do you know? Have you evaluated every person in the world? I've evaluated myself. I think you're a swell fella. Okay. Thank you. Mm. I don't know what to. Uh, I, I'm just saying. Uh, I think. I think I, I create an illusion of knowing what I'm talking about sometimes. But once you push me on it, you'll find the truth. That I don't. <laughs> Do you like that coffee drink? Pause yeah. for effect. <clears throat> From the Big Apple. All right, we're done. It's uh, too early. Yeah, it's 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 early. Uh, I have to poop. The coffee's kicking in. It's doing its job. Check under the seat. Do you have to poop right away? It was you with the <laughs> with the creamer? Do you like? Does it make you poop uh, right away? Creamer actually does help you with your like it it it, it doesn't unsettle your stomach so much. It doesn't unsettle my stomach. It just triggers my boo. Oh, but that's my part boo? of you know. My my boo. <laughs> you call your your poos your boo. My boo. Your your butt your boo. Did What's I ever tell boo? you about that? I have the DVD still, but I have potty training with uh, uh, Elmo, 
And they talk about how they, you know, describe going pee and poo. Some people call it pee pee and poo poo. Others call it wee wee and woo woo. And then, and then they cut to like some like scary looking man and he goes, I call it piss and shit. And I was like, this is an odd what? placement <laughs> in, a, in an elbow in a DVD. Yeah, that's crazy. Everything's true except for the last part. Speaking of poop, my dog has to go. All right, we drink uh, uh, a <clears throat> great value. Great value. Classic roast. Rob, how did you get the classic uh, of the coffees in it? Did you get the roast? I felt like it was pretty classic. I, if anything, you know, it was a, a mid-grade value, I'd say. Not great. Mid-grade. Yeah. Middle of the road. Uh, that's what we drank it. Midi, that's what we drank it. Will. That's what we drank. Would you say drink it or dump it? I, I mean, uh, if you it. need coffee, drink it, obviously. Yeah. All right, Rob. Well, uh, thanks for watching my dogs. Thanks. I will for, be honeymooning, honeymooning soon, whatever that means. I expect a, a refreshed Drew to come back, and we'll do the first thing we'll do is an episode. What if I could just come back and I'm just like, I look like I just been through like a car wreck. I expect your vacations to go kind of like Vacation, the movie. Uh, Chevy Chase is overrated. I'm, I'm not saying I like those movies. I'm just saying the premise of the fa- like you going somewhere and getting typhoid and and uh, hay fever or, 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 or what is it malaria? I don't know. And uh, and then drinking the bad water and and uh, I watched Christmas Vacation once and I don't think it's that good. I think it's overrated. No, the Vegas. The, the that's va- just me. I'm vacation a piece of shit. Movie, yeah, the vacation movies. I, I'm not a big fan of. I'm an uncultured swine. I'm an idiot. You know, I just hate things. Unfortunately. Maybe you want me to stop you, but I think you're right. (laughs) Pew, pew, audio. Goodbye, everyone.